only been a week since Google launched Gemini Ultra, and already Google has made a significant upgrade that puts chat GPT-4 well in the shade, big time. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking Google Gemini 1.5, the next generation AI monster that we're taking a deep dive into right now. So let's check it out. So as we know, Google have been busy playing catch up a lot of the time with ChatGPT. And about a week and a half ago, they launched Gemini, which is their rebranded Google Bard at, with Gemini 1.0. Well, about eight days later, they're launching Gemini 1.5. And this is game changing. I mean, Gemini 1.0 was pretty impressive already, pretty close to ChatGPT4's top version. But Gemini 1.5 blows that out of the water with a 1 million context window. So what's the significance of a context window? Well, think of it as your AI's short-term memory. You know how we sort of humans, you know, we hang on to so much information before things start to get a little bit fuzzy and we forget. And that is certainly the case with a lot of chat engines and chat GPT especially give it too much information and it kind of gets lost. This is basically the deal that you get with AI models. ChatGPT4 has a pretty decent window, up to 32K. That's not bad. But Gemini 1.5, bam, 1 million tokens. That's roughly a million words sort of crammed into its digital brain all at once. So why should you care? What does it matter? This is about connections. The bigger the window, the better Gemini is at spotting patterns, remembering details, and basically building incredibly complex responses. Let's have a look at their announcement here. So as I said, this was um, last week on February the 15th, somewhat overshadowed by the massive announcement by OpenAI about their text-to-video Sora, that the whole of the AI chatter, chattering basically, and it kind of overshadowed the enormity of Google's Gemini 1.5, which is unfortunate. So it's worth spending some time on it. So they say here, last week, we rolled out our most capable model, Gemini 1.0 Ultra, and took a significant step in making Google products more helpful, starting with Gemini Advance. Today, developers and cloud customers can begin with 1.0 Ultra 2. However, we're making rapid progress. In fact, we're ready to introduce the next generation, Gemini 1.5. It shows dramatic improvements across a number of dimensions and 1.5 Pro achieves comparable quality to 1.0 Ultra while using less compute. And that's important. This new generation also delivers a breakthrough in long context understanding. We've been able to significantly increase the amount of information that our models can process, running up to 1 million tokens consistently achieving the longest context window of any large scale foundation model yet. Now, I've, you know, worked with large bits of text. I've used Claude 2.0, which is really impressive, had a 250 context window and all of that. And I've used ChatGPT and, you know, it gets lost. If you're trying to put together a book or a novel or large bits of text, or even analyze chunks and chunks and pages and pages of information, ChatGPT will struggle. There is a test that they apply to some of these ChatGPT models in which you have a massive, large piece of text and you bury a key piece of information in it, like a needle in a haystack. And then you ask, say, ChatGPT to analyze the text and then ask it questions specifically about this one sentence. You have pages and pages of documents. And within that document, there is a, I know, a sentence that says, you know, Trevor's pants were blue. OK, and you ask what color Trevor's pants are. And a lot of the time, something like ChatGPT won't be able to answer the question because there's just too much information and it gets lost. Its memory gets fuzzy. That's not the case with Gemini 1.5. That same test applied Gemini 1.5 resulted in a 99% accuracy. So just to put it in um, some greater context here, we've got Gemini 1.0 Pro as a 32K context window, GPT-4 Turbo 128K, so R is referring to GPT-4 plane, uh, but GPT-4 Turbo, an impressive 128K, 
Claude 2.1, 200K, and Gemini 1.5 Pro, a million. And what does... And what does that mean in real terms? Well, you've got one hour of video, 11 hours of audio and 30 lines of code and 700, more than 700 words. Remember, Gemini was built to be multimodal. So this isn't just about reading reams and reams of text. It can consume a whole hour video, 11 hours of audio, as I said, and loads and loads of code and over 700 pages of text. We just check out their video here. So this is basically where they gave the Apollo 11 transcript, which has got pages and pages and pages of information, and then asked it very specific questions about that transcript. So they upload the transcript from the Apollo Air mission, and then they just ask a question, find three comedic moments. Now, this video is, of course, speeded up, um, but they put down in the corner, you can see um, how long it takes to process. So it's analyzing hundreds and hundreds of pages, and then it comes out with what it considers to be these amusing moments. But that's not the only thing. As I said, it's multimodal. Not only that, they can find exactly in that text where that specific conversation was have. I'll bet you a cup of coffee on it. It finds it here. It relates it. So you've got a context. But as I said, Gemini 1.5 is multimodal. They carry on the conversation here and then they just draw this picture, upload this picture here, PNG, and say, okay, where's this related? You know, where can we relate this to in this transcript of the Apollo 11 mission? And because of the large context window, Gemini understands, oh, it's like, first step on the moon. So they upload the picture there. It's just, you know, what moment is this? This is the moment Neil Armstrong took one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It understands the context, not only of the text, but of the image, having analysed these pages and pages of transcript. It's pretty impressive. But as I keep saying, it's, multi it's multimodal. So in this video here, they actually upload... Sherlock Jr. movie. So this is a Buster Keaton movie. It's nearly an hour long. And of course, it's a silent movie. Yes, there are some sort of text blocks where they have the kind of when, when they say something. But in principle, it's, it's a silent movie. And again, this is not uploading text. This is uploading a movie. And then they ask specifically questions about the movie. So find the moment when a piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket and tell me some key information on it with the time code. So it's analysing a whole movie here, nearly an hour long. And again, it takes its time. This is speeded up. It's going to take a minute or so. But there we go. It highlights the piece. At 12.01, a piece of paper is removed from the person's pocket. It's a pawn ticket from I, Goldman and Company, dated 10th of 23rd, 1924, for a watch and chain pawn for $4, signed by Will Smith. And jump to the time code. And here we go. There we go. It's found it. In this nearly an hour long movie, it's not only answered questions specifically about this piece of text, one of the rare pieces of, I guess, text in the whole video, but it's able to answer questions about it. Then using the multimodal aspect of Gemini, they upload again this rough drawing of um, a guy being drenched on water from a water tower. And it says, what is the time code of this? When does this happen? Sure enough, it takes about a minute or so to analyze the whole video again. And it goes 1534. So we jump to the time code and sure enough, look, there's um, a bunch of guys fooled by Buster Keaton there uh, and getting drenched on the water tower. So overall, pretty impressive stuff. And again, they have another example where they look at problem solving with long blocks of codes and stuff like that. Plus it has an enhanced performance. So for instance, here it says, we tested a comprehensive panel of text, code, image, audio, and video evaluations. 1.5 Pro outperforms 1.0 Pro on 87% of the benchmarks. And Gemini 1.5 maintains high levels of performance even as its context window increases. In the needle in the haystack evaluation, so this is where they bury a piece of information uh, within lots and lots and lots of text. 1.5 Pro found the embedded text 99% of the times in blocks of data as long as 1 million tokens. 
So there you go. This is the next generation model, Gemini 1.5, and it's pretty impressive. They're rolling it out to developers and cloud customers um, at the moment to experiment with. I'm going to wait a little longer before it goes sort of fully public, and I'm going to dive in. I know I'm going to really try because I'm working on some books and stuff, and there's loads and loads of information and text in there. I want to make sure I'm not repeating myself and stuff like that. And a context window of a million tokens is exactly the sort of thing that I need because when I do the same thing with ChatGPT, I find that it creates text uh, and begins to repeat itself or gets lost or, or loses the style that I'm writing in and stuff like that. Anyway, this is very exciting. As I said, it's only a week after Google officially launched Gemini Ultra and they've already gone to 1.5 with a significant step forward. And if it wasn't, as I said, for OpenAI's announcement of their text-to-video service Sora, then this would be much more bigger news than it actually is in the world of AI. Anyway, I just thought I'd keep you updated. I hope you enjoyed the video. As ever, hit the likes because I like it. YouTube likes it and it helps people like you find videos just like this. And of course, if you're new to my channel, do me the great honor, please hit that subscribe button, toggle that notification bell, and that way you'll know when I upload videos just like this. Talking of videos just like this, why don't you check out the videos over here? These ones here. I think you'll enjoy them. Thanks for watching.